Welcome back everyone to some more World of Tanks and this replay we have Skirk Lara in The Big Bad Boys Part 1. It is the Tortoise, the Tier 9 British. Um, very heavily armoured, very nice tank destroyer. Um, so, in a lovely matchup like this, I mean, you didn't really need all of the gold that you're seeing Skirk Lara taking over here, but I guess they are trying to go for 100% um, on the marks of excellence because as you can see, the three marks have already been acquired. Um, but yeah, Skirk Lara going with Bond Hardening, Bond Drama, and a, an improved mobility system. Level 3, I mean, th those experimental equipments for the mobility just make these vehicles so much better. Like, all of those slower, heavily armored vehicles, ever since they added those mobility improvement equipment pieces, it's just, it's just like, changed the game completely. How you play those vehicles now is just extremely different than how it was before. Uh, but yeah, Skirk Lara in a lovely matchup with amazing equipment. With a lot of gold, as you can see. Um, yeah, basically all gold. <laughs> Over here, going against some tier 7, tier 8 vehicles. But I mean, still. Still. Just look at all this vehicle can do. Even with the regular rounds, I could have done the same thing. Most likely. Um, the gold is just because, you know, you, when you go for those marks, 100 percenting stuff like that, you do want to make sure that every single sh shell you fire does connect, does go through. Um, but yeah, Tortoise, right? We are here to check the Tortoise. Um, I did do a, a video about the Turtle before, the tier rate premium. Oh my goodness, that hurt. <laughs> um, tier rate premium, British tank destroyer, my goodness, just look at the rate of fire. I'm, I'm gonna let the game speak for itself, right, while I just chat about the tortoise because i can't do both the rate of fire is insane on this tortoise um yes yeah, so tortoise what is good about this vehicle well basically everything except except the mobility it has the best dpm at tier 9 it has amazing armor except for that capola on top as you can see which is a weak spot um apart from that even that you know it need to hit a specific area over here a very heavily armored vehicle and just look at this just look at those amazing 400 damage shells in like every five seconds especially with this sort of a uh, very nice bond equipment loadout over here that can get the dpm up to like 4500 maybe even close to 5k damage per minute with this vehicle so yeah with the improved mobility and stuff you kind of make the bad part about the tortoise non-existent anymore because you do have the mobility now you go 25 kilometers an hour forwards 13 backwards with that piece of equipment and like before that you had 20 going forwards and only 10 going backwards so that was the thing that was kind of a holding back this vehicle <laughs> one damage with the fire it's hilarious uh, but yeah the thing that held this vehicle back right all of those chunky boy tank destroys heavy tanks very heavily armored vehicles was the speed but now with all of the really good equipment pieces that you can put on those vehicles um turbos experimental equipment all of those things these vehicles are just shining they are just so good and if you look at the win rate of those vehicles you will understand uh, exactly how much they are nice at the moment so the tortoise is actually top of any tech tree tier 9 vehicle if i'm not mistaken in terms of a win rate and win rate differential at the moment um in the, in the last 30 days which is insane by quite a margin actually um except for except for another vehicle that i'm not going to spawn because that is a vehicle that's going to be in part two which i mean if it's big bad boys part one and part two then i guess the extra armor the big guns are kind of important these days in the game but I'm, I'm going elsewhere with this video right now. Uh, the only vehicles that actually have better win rate or win rate differential are very overpowered premium vehicles like the Concept 1B, like the Campanzer 50T. These vehicles are just like in their own tier, right? 9.5. But I would argue that the Tortoise is 9.5 as well. Anyway, Tortoise, amazing DPM, good enough V range with a base of 390, so you don't really need to have allies spot for you you can do it yourself with good equipment you can get very good mobility as well 
if you shoot gold, you can paint everything. But I mean, you can also use the regular rounds. 259 minutes of penetration is not bad. Um, very usable, especially if you're going to fight with the heavies, which is what I recommend you do with your tortoise, because it's kind of like a non turret in heavy, basically. And basically, that is what this vehicle is. So just go forwards, use the amazing armor, use the amazing DPM, and just out trade your opponents. Go in, shoot them, shoot them, shoot them, shoot the amazing rate of fire. They can't really do too much if they don't pen one as well, because you do have a lot of armor. Then they are kind of, uh, yeah, they are kind of screwed if you get them in a good position. And even when the enemy team catches the tortoise, as you can see over here, you can just use the amazing rate of fire. You can use the lovely armor to get out of these situations. Um, but I mean, maybe this is a bit too much in a 1v7 right now. So, what is Kirkulara going to do over here? My goodness, the Super Pershing is pushing forward as well. One to the Super Pershing, luckily it goes through, sets the Super Pershing on fire, which is now a one-shot. Can we catch the Super P? There we go, Super P is down. BZ-106, FE-402 over here. Where are the rest of the vehicles? There's still a Type 61 that is full HP and has two kills so far. Super Hacker in the back, luckily bounces from the backside. This vehicle, like I said, very heavily armored. And it's in so many areas. Um, they will go through the side and the rear. If they aim, there we go. There we go. But yeah, it's still it's still a very difficult thing to do. Trying to catch a super helicopter, maybe going after the BZ. What is Kirklara going to do? Switching to a Nietzsche to go after the super helicopter. That is actually a good thing to do because the super helicopter doesn't have any armor. But the BZ is pushing forwards now. Can finish off the BZ. There we go. One to the BZ. Finishing off the very dangerous tier rate. That tier rate, I mean, it's more like a tier 10, right? Uh, the Chinese, a premium heavy tank, and now the FV is going forwards. Look at the, the Super Hellcat got caught out, and then we go one to the track of the FV-422. It's immediately repairing. Don't let the FV get up there. And there it is. From a 1v7 into a 1v3, creating a small graveyard over here of FVs, BZs, and Super Hellcats. Also a Super Pershing and a T-54 lightweight, right? Yes, indeed, and now the full health Type 61, which is on two kills already, is pushing forwards. <laughs> type 61 actually has really good DPM as well for a tier 9 vehicle, but it's not as good as the Taurus trying to bounce those heat rounds from the Type 61. Need to watch out over here, the Type 61 is on 437 hit points, 607. My goodness, blocking with the gun exactly like you should do. Unfortunately, that wasn't really the best of plays, but I mean, I mean, there we go into the side of the Type 63. The Type 61, sorry, can't seem to catch the Capola over here. It's actually using the small gun. Under the bigger, chunky Alpha Type 61 gun. But I mean, the tortoise is just dominating here. Catch the spec side, there we go. Whew. And there's the artillery as well. My goodness, let me breathe. Let me breathe, uh, Skirk Lara. This is crazy. This is crazy stuff. Up to 10,551 damage, 4,800 damage blocked in this battle. And I mean, if you just look at, at how this vehicle. <laughs> All of the bounces even on the Capola, right? It's just, it's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, actually. And, I mean, when you just fire gold, you will pen a lot of times. 326 is more than enough in this sort of matchup. It will be enough against some tier 10 vehicles as well. Um, I would actually would have loved to see some more regular rounds, right? But when you go for the 100%, it is understandable. There's the M53, 55, the tier 9, American artillery, one to the backside. And now the M53 is a one-shot two American artillery versus one British tank destroyer. If the M53 actually finds AP, this might be dangerous. This might be dangerous. But otherwise, I don't really see them finishing off Sky Clara over here. I mean, this vehicle, they, they won't be able to pen with HE. Let's, let's be real. You can't pen the tortoise with HE. It's just so strong. It's so nice, and there we go, catch the M53 in the side, M53 thinking we're gonna come from the other side, but no, but no, Sky Clara with a good push towards the artillery, and now it's a 1v1 against the enemy M12, that can be anywhere, need to watch out, like maybe the M12 went south, maybe went north, <laughs> the SP1C saying, bravo bro in the chat, nice, always like to see the positive. Uh, teammates inside the game up to 10 kills 11,000 damage so far for Skirk Clara but there's one artillery left T1 Panda in their M12 versus what is probably the best tier 9 vehicle 
in the game. I mean, I love the tortoise so much. It, it's like, it's crazy. It's just crazy. It's just good in so many different areas. Like, I, I don't think the tortoise has any weakness. I guess you do have the V range to fight in long ranges, have the DPM, you also have the accuracy. 0.3 dispersion base is definitely not bad. Maybe it's 0.32 though. Urgh. But even with uh, that, it's it's not bad at all. The aim time is good as well. It's just such a nice all-round view. I guess it's kind of good all-round. Like I said, the only thing that is bad about this vehicle is the mobility. But you can just put turbo. These days, you can just put a turbo on those vehicles. And that will be pretty much it. You remove the weakness that you had. Oh my goodness. The M12 is in the cap. Skirklar is in the cap. This is, this is going to be, this is going to be very tense. One minute and 15 seconds. Is the M12 going to go for the blind shots? Or are they just going to be sitting in the cap thinking that they can draw this one out? Uh, but as you can see, in the top area over here, you need to have five seconds between them. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> oh, that was close. That was close. Um, I think you should actually go forwards, Skirklara. Sit over there, use the building as cover. The M12 can't really shoot over the buildings. It's not a British artillery. Uh, but yeah, after the cap ends, you have an extra five seconds. So if the M12 actually went into the cap, what is it? Three, four seconds earlier, they might have been able to draw this one. But uh, I mean... A draw is kind of like a loss for both teams, so I don't really see any reason, any reason uh, to try and draw when you can always go for the win, should always go for the win. And there we go. M12 can't really shoot over here, the building is in the way, and we know that we can get the win because as you can see it's a 7 second difference between Skirklara going into the cap circle and the enemy M12. And it's 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 win and now we can see another five seconds are going to be added and the game will be over with two seconds left on the cap circle for the enemy team and yeah exactly that unfortunately skirklara <laughs> ended the game in the sniper view so we can't really see uh, maybe i can use my free cam i cannot unfortunately because it is in the sniper mode anyway Anyway, amazing game by Skirklar over here. 11,000 damage and 10 kills. Just absolutely insane stuff. With an insane vehicle. I mean, like I said, DPM, armor, accuracy, view range. It's it's just good in so many areas. In so many areas. Um, mobility, like I said, you can have a turbo if you don't want to go for the very expensive experimental equipment pieces um, or very limited I should say because you don't get them as easily as regular turbos you can go with bounty equipment if you like and it's just a, a weaknessless vehicle <laughs> uh, yeah once you get rid of that mobility weakness you are just so strong so good in the battlefield, on the battlefield, that I don't think it is surprising to anyone that this vehicle is the tier 9 vehicle with the highest win rate differential. So yeah, go and get the tortoise people, it's amazing, what are you still doing over here? Well I guess you're here to check out the post game stats, so let's go and do that real quick. There we go, easy ace tanker for the 2164 base experience earned here by Skirklara. A bunch of those uh, lovely ribbons. Pulse Metal for getting the 10 kills. Korobanovs for standing alone against at least 5, in this case 7, enemy vehicles and emerging victorious. Invader with the tortoise actually hilarious. Um, cap the enemy base, at least 80% of the cap is yours. Steel Wall for just the, the crazy amounts of damage you block with the tortoise. 4,800. In this case, which is actually enough to finish off the vehicle twice and then some. So yes, this vehicle is very heavily armored, um, high caliber. 11,000 damage will always give you the high caliber unless you actually hit your allies. Don't do that. And a top gun for um, 6 kills, in this case 10 
as you can see, amazing game. First by damage by quite a bit, first by kills by quite a bit, and just a very amazing all round game. 36 shells fired, 33 hit, and 30 penetrated. So, lovely ratio. I mean, it does make sense when you kind of shoot gold rounds into low tier vehicles, but you know, when you get 11,000 damage, who am I to judge? Who am I to judge? 22 hits received, and only 4 of those penetrated, 16 did not, and 3 were just splash damage by the BZ, I guess, and the artillery, maybe. Uh, like we said, 4,800 damage blocked by the armor. 4 vehicles spotted, so like I said, 390 meters base view range can still be very useful uh, with the tortoise. 13 of the enemy vehicles were damaged, and 10 of those were destroyed. 63 assisted damage as well, just for, for the cherry on top, right? 100 base capture points, we did win by capturing the base over here. Uh, 2.73 kilometers traveled, you don't really travel too much with a tortoise most of the time. So this is, this is rather surprising. But yeah, even though, even though Skunklara made a very nice profit of 200,000 credits, I mean, when, when you find so much gold, <laughs> you will not be going away with all of that creds. Um, so, I mean, getting something is always like 12,000 credits received over here. 4,869 nice experience, 162 free XP earned in this battle. So, yeah, I mean, we need to go down to actually see all of the vehicles that Sky Clara damaged in this battle. GG, well played, absolutely insane game. By Skir Clara. I mean, 11,000 damage is, is always crazy. It is always crazy. No matter what. So, GG, well played. And uh, yeah, this is it for this video. So, as usual, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think of the tortoise? Do you think it is maybe too good? Do you think it might need a nerf? Do you think it's very good as is? Maybe you think it's a bit too weak? Deserves a buff? Let me know your thoughts, your opinions about the tortoise down below in the comments. And as usual, thank you so much, everyone, for watching. You're awesome, stay awesome, stay safe, and hopefully I'll see you all in the next video. Tell us people have a good one.